Have you ever heard the term A1C? Do you know what it means? A1C stands for hemoglobin A1C, and it measures our average blood sugars from the past three months. Now, A1C is used to diagnose diabetes, and it's also a way to look at one aspect of our health. Now, I have a really cool visual that I want to show you. It's going to be blood sugars and what they look like at certain A1Cs. But before we do that, I just want to mention that our blood sugars most of the time are sugar that we're eating from our blood, right? Carb, starch, fiber, glucose, whatever name you want to give it, those. But if we are starving or fasting, the sugar can come from glycogen, which is stored sugar in our liver and skeletal muscle. When you're looking at this visual, I want you to think the sugar is coming from diet. Let's go and look. So here we have our three A1C blood sugar sticks. I'm going to start with the one on the left hand side. This one is a normal blood sugar or a normal A1C. And you can see the sugar is moving really easily, pretty quickly. I like to think of it like snowflakes in a snow globe or water. Now I'm going to go with the one in the middle. This is an A1C of 8. Someone with an A1C of 8 has diabetes, and you can see the sugar is moving a lot slower. There's some resistance there. It's kind of like corn syrup. And if you think of your heart pumping the blood around your body, it has to pump a little bit harder to move that sugar. Lastly, I will be moving on to the stick on the right-hand side. And this is showing an A1C of 12 to 14, so it's pretty high. And you can already see the blood sugar is moving really slowly. There's a lot of resistance. It's like molasses or honey. Now, if you have an A1C of 12 to 14, this is what your blood pretty much looks like and your heart has to pump really hard to move the sugar. I hope that was interesting. It really blew my mind when I saw it for the first time, just seeing how carbohydrates go into our blood and really affect it. If you watch that and now you're thinking, oh my gosh, I cannot believe carbohydrates can do that. I need to not eat carbs anymore. Stop. Please eat carbohydrates. We need carbohydrates to live and to thrive in this world. What we really want to do is have a smaller amount of carbohydrates consistently and frequently throughout the day, right? The recommendation is small, frequent meals. So if you think about putting a small amount of carbohydrates into your body and then into your blood, at one time it's easier for your insulin to take that out of the blood and keep it from getting you know backed up kind of like we saw with the a1c of 8 and 12 to 14. but if we're putting a lot of carbohydrates into our blood at once our insulin may not be able to keep up so just keep that in mind if you're interested in me talking maybe more about carbohydrates please let me know in the comments below and I hope you have a great day.